Look at that. I fucked up. I effed up. Look. I have my seeds in here. Uh, I thought... I thought that cooler would be... I thought that cooler would be watertight. It is not. And they're all rotten. So everything is wet. Look, some of my... Look at that. That my sunflowers, those were pumpkins. All of these seeds, they tried to sprout. Look at that. All rotten. <laughs> Whoops. You see that? I got a little tiny sprout. Where's my finger? Holy cow. I ruined all. Can you see that? All those seeds. Uh, I made the mistake of thinking that was watertight and all of my seeds are now, this isn't all of them, but every seed I had that wasn't planted for this year is in here. <sighs> this is the kind of stuff you don't count on and it happens. I found one of my little mp3 players uh, so uh, I just wanted to check in because I'm actually listening to an interview that happened I don't know uh, I think in the beginning or middle of June uh, I think today is like day I think it's day 13 unlucky 13 and uh, I showed you one of my missteps right so my seeds I swear I thought that was waterproof, but I just never looked because I'm not in planting mode. I think the light's bad here, sorry. Uh, the mosquitoes are out, so I'm itchy. And we had a lot of rain last night. So the good news is, is that we had a lot of rain last night, so things will keep growing. And uh, I have a little bit of entertainment. I like the little MP3 player because it takes almost no power compared to the phone. <sighs> but that isn't why I'm checking in. So. Uh, but I wanted to check in because uh, I'm getting tired of my personal drama and, and reflections uh, for the today. But I'm listening to more of the before. And I'm actually listening to an interview by Dr. Naomi Wolf, who I always had an affinity with her because uh, we came into the world around the same time. And she took a path that I probably should have, but I didn't. Uh, she became academic, intellectual, and, uh, you know, she was one of the few people who was very uh, liberal, who was, was willing to look at what was actually happening. Um, and the reason I'm bringing that up is, you know, I, I talked a little bit yesterday about regret, uh, and I'm, I'm thinking about that in relationship to... Uh, the decision to be out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm wondering if I regret not being more active uh, when there was things actually happening that I could have. I don't think we could have prevented this, but, you know, I'm wondering if I should have been more active. Uh, you know, my concern was I just didn't have the energy to do it, but clearly I don't have the energy to do this either. Uh, I'm wondering how people are doing in other countries because uh, you know my physical location is not a, a lockdown area you know I'm in New Mexico I left New Mexico because she the governor was a lockdown governor uh, I came back uh, for reasons that didn't have anything to do with that it was sort of a necessity question for me at that at the time and my plan you know had been to uh, make a decision about, you know, whether I would stay or not, but I had some, uh, you know, things like, uh, you know, where I live and, and identity and things like that. So there's certain things you have to sort of live someplace. Hey, maybe not anymore. <laughs> I don't like rules or regulations, but you cannot ignore all of them. 
And, um, you know, I'm wondering how Australia is doing. I'm wondering how Europe is doing. I'm wondering if uh, this is a war or if it's just a natural event or if it's a biological event or an economic event, a civil event. Uh, you know, the not knowing, because what's happening is going to be so tied up to how things move forward. It's really weird to have had all this information all day, every day, to just be bombarded with not only, uh, you know, what's happening in the country, but all over the world. You know, just an international bombardment of constant 24-7, 365 updates about what everybody's doing and what's happening and go like to zero right so uh, it's been a little bit of a uh, you know throwback so listening to uh, you know someone else talk helps me distract from my own personal Uh, I've always listened to a lot of audio because uh, I like to listen while I do functional things that are boring somebody's yelling Uh, like uh, doing dishes. Oh, I think the dogs are coming from across the street. <sighs> the guy across the street's dogs keep coming over here. And Freedom's the one that's been acting out. And uh, Haven did her first growl yesterday, <laughs> mimicking Freedom, which I have mixed feelings about. Uh, good girl and not good girl. Oh, and speak of the devil, he just came out. The trouble is, is they're puppies, they're not aggressive, but they're powerful puppies, and if they turn on him, it's all over. And he's been attacked by two and three dogs at a time before uh, that were bigger than him, and I was with him, and it happened more than once, and it never went well. I don't even, you know, to be honest with you, I don't even remember how we got out of it. I just remember hitting the two dogs with all my might with the hiking stick that I had and then they would double team us you know I was trying to keep freedom behind me and hit the one that was attacking from the front and then the second one would go around the back and then I would turn around it was just horrific you know watching them make my dog bleed and I couldn't stop it Uh, So I'm thinking that maybe he's overreacting because he remembers those fabulous moments too. But that isn't why I asked to uh, check in with you, but that's a real thing. Uh, The the loose dogs, they're not really bad right now, but uh, because people up here, you know, I think are used to having, well, there's a lot of loose dogs up here, but, but, you know, again, aren't running out of food in two days. But I think down in the cities that might be happening. But I also, you know... I'm wondering, I I talked about this the other day, you know, did I make the wrong decision trying to survive this kind of thing instead of uh, fighting? Because I am a fighter by nature, but I was just so tired, I couldn't see myself doing it. But, uh, you know, my memory is, uh, one of the things I hated, my memory, like it was that long ago, (laughs) But um, one of the things I really didn't like about showing people, you know, what I was doing was the constant feedback about you should, you should, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this. And um, as if everybody could move to a remote location and live on a homestead and be 100% self-sufficient. And what I've been trying to tell people or had been trying to tell people this entire time is that in no history does mass events not become mass migration. I mean, almost everyone becomes a refugee when there is war or natural disaster or, uh, and the difference is, you know, if it's a natural disaster and it's small, then the other countries or locations can come to your assistance. But if this is a global event, or even if it's just half the continent, half the country, or half the world, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to expand, right? Even if it's half the world, there's nobody coming to save us, not to mention we're in America and everybody hates us. Um, There is no right way to have done this. So, you know, when I talk about the idea about regret, uh, it just makes me wonder, you know, would I have been happier to go down in a blaze of glory (laughs) as opposed to maybe starving to death? or getting sick and just sort of, you know, fading away, or wondering if my dog is going to eat me, you know, when I'm dead, 
Or uh, would it have been better to be on the front lines? Uh, and I know I might have ended up in jail, and that's one of the reasons I couldn't do it. I have, to, you know, I always had freedom to take care of. I don't have anybody to back me up, so I couldn't afford to put myself in a situation uh, where he didn't have me to take care of him. Even though, you know, technically we're in that situation times two now. So uh, I was just, you know, wondering. I wish I could go into the future and ask you or me if I'm here in the future uh, how it what what was happening how did it play out did we make the wrong decision uh, you know my gut was this was not something that could be stopped it, it is an inevitable that we are closing cycles that you have to destroy the old in order to create the new and that the old was so broken and so infested with parasites and cancer and uh, you know fungus and mold it's just it was beyond repair and it needed to be cleaned uh, and my sense is that's kind of probably what's going to happen here but uh, I'm wondering uh, if it would have been more fun to just be on the front lines of all of this or uh, am I glad that I'm getting the slow burn version or and cue the wind or um, will I be uh, helpful in the future? You know, I have a huge knowledge base. So, uh, you know, maybe without having the Internet, we need people who remember information and maybe we will be helpful in the future, even because I never got my book of wisdom complete. <laughs> So I, I don't have my book, but I still have my brain if it continues to work. So uh, I'm, I'm just getting tired. I'm getting tired of the drama. I'm getting tired of talking about it. I'm getting tired of thinking about it. Uh, I'm getting ready to transition myself into something. Uh, and I was thinking this morning that at some point in the very near future here, we're, you know, we've been talking about how things are going to go, uh, and I need to make some big decisions. Um, but... I think what I'm going to like most about this video, if I get to watch myself in the future, is that who I was in June of 2022 is not who I will be in August of 2022, and that I'm hoping that this will be my own personal evidence, in addition to my writings, of who I, how I became you know, from June to August, ha what happened, what the transformation was, what the triggering events were, uh, what decisions I made and why I made them. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting to see in hindsight. I hope I can watch this in the future because uh, I can feel how I'm changing and how uh, with every day that's passing and every... Uh, day there is the 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 what's becoming constant is the unknown and the uncertainty and uncertainty is becoming the norm that uh, I imagine you know this is how people used to live they didn't have information 24 7 365 they didn't know when the next storm was going to be or if they'd have a harvest or what the temperature would be tomorrow I live by the weather channel or I lived by the weather channel um I imagine we are returning to something that has been normal for a lot of people. Uh, and this overwhelming amount of information that we've had uh, probably wasn't good for us. I think it was probably a way to control and distract. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm wondering if uh, it would have just been more fun to be up on the front lines being active. Uh, you know, I don't want to go to jail I think that was probably the biggest stumbling block. That and money to get to the place. Because I really like living in nature. I just really like living in nature. So, Freedom's not enjoying Haven's playfulness. <laughs> uh, but it's good for him. It's making him move around. It's making him more mobile or agile. So that's good. So anyways, that's sort of what I was thinking about today. I just needed to not do some kind of heavy topic today. But... Um, but it was fun. It's fun uh, hearing not my voice in my head. It's nice to hear somebody else's voice. Plus, I have music on this one, uh, which I like because uh, I need a break from myself today. So we're taking a 
mental break from uh, big topics, but something's happening. Uh, something's happening. Uh, and I think, I don't have a choice, but I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm getting permission to let go of some things that I've been holding on to um, because I didn't know how to survive in both worlds. Uh, and I think that as, as we keep moving forward into what's next, uh, unless everything flips back on tomorrow and then I don't know what I'll do, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> If we get to it, but I'm not going to think about it because right now I just need a down day. I'm cleaning uh, because I can't live in the chaos. If you can't probably see my shirt, but uh, I made a tomato soup from canned tomatoes and all I did was get tomato juice and all over me with olive oil so it will be nice and stained. So I'm going to see if I can get that out without wasting a lot of water, but, but it rained. That was good. So, all right, that's me checking in for today and I am officially checking out for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, fake smile. Well, that one was actually real.